right now on the Penn State Hockey Story. Celebrate a big win against Michigan and a season sweep of Ohio State. But hold on to your emotions as we bid a heartfelt farewell to our seniors during a sentimental senior day. And in a heartbreaker at Minnesota, Penn State delivers their most intense game of the year. From jubilation to motivation, this story has it all. It is the fastest team sport in the world, and here it seems even faster. Hockey at Penn State is an awesome spectacle. The, goal, fires, and scores! the players are a reflection of our people. With a DNA inscribed by the work ethic of all of those who came before and inspired by the roar of the greatest student section in college hockey. Simple but elegant blue and white uniforms worn by players who always put the team first and yet their game is complex. Perpetual motion, toughness and courage mixed with artistry and finesse. Shot score! And all of their work has brought them here to the intersection of evolution and immortality. Seven seconds in, what a start! Minute by minute, day by day, Penn State hockey is chasing history. Their journey is our reward. This is passion. This is pride. This is the Penn State hockey story. There was still a slight sting of winter in the central Pennsylvania air, but with it a hint of warmth signaling the approaching spring. And with that, the end of another season in Hockey Valley. Current Nittany Lions are realizing what those before them already know. Time goes quickly. You never know when you might be playing your last game. Senior Christian Berger would break his hand in this one and suddenly it's over. Poignantly illuminating the specialness of every minute and every game. For the greatest fans in college hockey, Pagula parties will soon go into hibernation. But not before enjoying one final Penn State home win. And Michigan's drawn first blood, it's one nothing. The Wolverines have had a knack for scoring the first goal this season, but the Nittany Lions are a resilient bunch. He lays it off now, snap the shot in there, they score! Fink threw it in, the rebound came off the chest of Barczewski, and Penn State gets one on the power play. It's buried into the back of the goal by Reese Lawback. Penn State special teams played well, and overall, they lived up to Coach Godowski's mantra. Let's go play in their end, they're mine, you guys! They would outshoot the Wolverines, and their usual offensive aggression paid off. Glass and not out, kept in by Max, slides it on left side. Oh, they score! A bullet up top, and Penn State cashes in. It was thrown in by Dylan Grant. Dylan Grant gives Penn State the lead! The second biggest crowd in Pagula history roared their approval. Penn State held the one goal lead through the second period, but the stubborn Wolverines tied it early in the third. Come on, how's going on that? But Penn State was the better team from then on. Cervano through neutral into the Michigan zone. A long shot, Barczewski the save, they score on the rebound! And Penn State takes a three to two lead! And Dane Doiak was there, the biggest goal of his freshman season! Look out! Penn State gets the go-ahead goal! The Nittany Lions go to the paint! Liam Solier made sure the lead held up, but there were some anxious moments late in the game during a very bizarre turn of events. Really battling, got a Michigan player down on the 
goal line right in front of the referee. There is a major penalty number six for Penn State. Just when it looked like the Nittany Lions would have to kill off a five minute major, the depth of their program rose up and evened it up. Oh, oh, hey, yes, yes, Danny, yes, that's two yes. Perhaps as important as anything carried out on the ice, the Penn State staff alertly noted that Michigan, too, was guilty of head contact. Here's the verdict. You, Michigan number 94 is also being assessed. Oh! All right, you and I have called a lot of games. Oh, yeah. Never, ever I don't think I've ever seen, seen this. this no. Not, not in succession like this. I, I, a lot of credit goes to the director of hockey ops. 100%. Uh, who was up there looking at right. every little thing. Woo! Wow. Maybe what they look at isn't so little, and things stayed even. As soon as it got called on, on Jimmy, I mean, George said, do it. Yeah, we were going to do it regardless, so um, we were we were hoping to get a five-minute power play, but it ended up just saving us a five-minute penalty kill, so it worked out great. One of our student managers, Derek Avery, does a great job. He, uh, he checks every one of their zone entries, and anytime I see a hit, I ask him to pull it up, and he takes a quick look at it, and kind of lets me know if it's something we should take a look at or not, and then we look at it a little further from a couple angles and then let these guys know what we're thinking. No, it's five on five. The rest was a typical Penn State, Michigan fight to the finish. Nazar McCourty settles near circle, shot, block, got it back, broken stick between the circles, flung towards the open goal, it is! Reese Laubach's 160-foot empty netter was his third goal of the weekend and helped earn him the Big Ten third star of the week. It was a dagger to the heart of Michigan, celebrated on the bench by Christian Berger, who momentarily forgot about his broken hand. Win allowed former Penn Stater Connor McEckern to lead the locker room celebration while his pro career is paused by an injury. I love each and every one of you. I'm so proud. Spring will have to wait. The boys of winter aren't quite finished yet. After an emotional senior game, Penn State hockey's graduating players were given a chance to try to put into words what Penn State has meant to them. We thank them for their character, passion, and the lasting memories they've created on the ice. I remember being on campus for the first time. The next day, I called my brother, who was a junior on the team at the time, and I immediately told him I want to play here, too. My experience here at Penn State and being a part of this team has exceeded all my expectations I had coming in. I wouldn't trade my time here for anything in this world. Thank you guys for giving me the opportunity to live out a dream I didn't even realize I had of playing hockey at the best place in the world. This class battled a lot of adversity and the best part is we did all of it together. We always had each other's backs and we were there for each other when we needed it the most. Hockey, college, life, whatever it was, we could always and will always be able to count on each other. You guys made this experience for me, and I love you guys. Uh, to the boys, thanks for being the best teammates and friends I could ever ask for. And I can't wait to see what you guys accomplish in life. I know a lot of people will come up here and say, you step on campus, you blink, and uh, you're here giving this speech. But I'll say, I didn't blink and end up here. I made so many lifelong memories, and I wouldn't trade them for the world. You guys have said it before, but it does go by fast. Take pride in this program. Leave it better than you found it. And if you keep doing that, uh, this place is gonna go to the top. It's taken me a long time to grasp what being a part of this team means, but as I wrap up my time here, I think I fully understand. The camaraderie that I have enjoyed these past few years is something truly unique to this program and to this group of people. My Penn State hockey story has exceeded all expectations and made me into the man I am today. 
This school caters to our needs, ensures that we have everything to perform at the highest level, and treats us like family. Because that is what Penn State is, just one big family that supports each other like no other. Penn State hockey is special because of this building, yes, but more importantly because of the people it attracts and the community it's in. To the Roar Zone, you guys are the best. The support we get here, and especially from you, is unbelievable. We all dreamt of playing in a place like this. You guys create the best atmosphere in college hockey. You play a big role in the success of this program as well. I would like to thank the Roar Zone for always showing up no matter the circumstances. Your support does not go unnoticed and your passion for this team is like no other. You guys are what makes playing in Pagula Ice Arena so special. Playing for the Nittany Lions in Pagula Ice Arena in front of the best fans and student section in the country is second to none. As a kid, <laughs> you can only dream having the crowd scre scream your name and support when you perform. I can say now that uh, my dream has come true, and yes, it's, it's a pretty freaking cool feeling. You know, every now and then if there's a face-off or something, don't be afraid to take a look around and check out the fans and just soak in the moment. It's pretty special. Coach, thank you for giving me the opportunity to play college hockey. I've always admired your passion for building a program based on character and work ethic. This is an amazing place for guys to develop themselves as players, but also people. Dads, thank you for believing in me. Thank you for taking a chance on a 5'3", 140-pound soaking wet defenseman from Point Pleasant Beach, New Jersey, when you committed me. You made my dreams come true. Gads, thank you for being honest with me. Thank you for treating me with respect and showing me what it means to, to build a culture. Your judgment of character is not talked about enough. Every one of these young men in front of me represent every value instilled in this program. And to that, I give you credit for making this place an attractive one for people who care and want to work for what they earn. Penn State has brought me some of my best joys ever. It brought me people that I will have with me for the rest of my life and memories that will last just as long. I will feel forever grateful and blessed that I got to go to school and play hockey here. I am happy to say I have 26 teammates who I can also call my best friends. I love all you guys. What we have here is something special and it cannot be replicated. College hockey is not easy. Winning is not easy. But what makes everything worth the battle is us, the team. Be nice to each other, apologize after a fight, congratulate ourselves when we do good, be hard on each other when we do bad, but most importantly, love each other. The future is in good hands. This place means so much to me to be a part of this family. Coming to Penn State was the best stage of my life. And it was also the easiest. Thank you guys so much. You look at what they've done last four games. They, they swept Wisconsin and, and beat Michigan uh, Michigan State to the, the top two teams in our league right now and both in the top four or five of, of the pairway. We are at Ohio State, final weekend of the regular season, looking to get two more big wins. Having already swept Ohio State back in Hockey Valley, the Nittany Lions were looking to duplicate the feat in Columbus. Go have fun attacking and competing and hunting. It's not easy, you do it well, it's going to be fun. Books, your line starts, Carter, you and Jimmy, Sully, you got it. The last weekend of the regular season would not affect the Nittany Lions' place in the standings. They could neither move up nor down. But they had too much pride not to attack the challenge the same as any other. It's the only way they know how to play. For one thing, they had played the neighboring state rival Buckeyes the second most times of any team in program history. You know what they say about familiarity. Law back to Dow, deep slot, off to Lugris atop the near circle. Lugris through the bumper spot to Marsco, out front, Bucco, they score! Law back to Bucco, and bingo, Penn State has the lead. With passing as crisp as State College air in winter, the Lions took charge. Ohio State answered quickly, but Penn State countered before the period ended as Tanner Palasik took advantage of net front lion traffic. Behind the goal, Sarlo surveys, banks it back far point, Palasik guns towards the goal, SCORE! 
and Penn State retakes the lead. It's two to one. Nittany Lions with 6.28 to go here in the opening period. Two goals in the first period was a nice start, but the Lions' aggressive offense took the game over with three more in the second. Hovered over the stick of Lugris, tried to one-time it on, then twisted Bukojaniev. He scores! Bukoju Janiev, and man, he had something on that. It is a three to one Penn State lead. Ball back, Mohawks along the far board, centers, Paquette out front, fires, he scores! Tyler Paquette adds to the lead, it's 4-1 Penn State. The Buckeyes had won three of their last four games before this one, but the Lions dominating second period cooled them down with a trio of tallies that ended the drama. Liam Solier was brilliant in net, having made more starts against Ohio State than any team in his career. He had their number shot after shot, invigorating his teammates as much as the guys scoring at the other end. There, Dobiak into the attacking zone between the circles, Ahmed backhand shot, he scores! Casey Ahmed with his first goal as a Nittany Lion! Part of a freshman class that has accounted for a third of Penn State's goals this year, pointing to a bright future and sending Buckeye fans home disappointed. Game two, game faces. Looking for a season sweep. No looking ahead to the Big Ten tournament. These guys were focused on the task at hand. You are great at hunting and are holding. You are great at stopping at the slot and protecting. You're gonna give yourselves a chance. Let's come away with another win. Folks, you're lying. Yeah. Carter, you and Jimmy, Sula, you got it. All right. All right. We work at scoring goals, and uh, and, and the, the issue is you have to find a way to do that without giving up much, and that's really the challenge. The goals would be a little tougher to come by for both teams in Game 2, but the Nittany Lions are adaptable and can play to any tune necessary to get a W. They continued to battle the small wars until their power play clicked several times in the second period. Gratton deep slot, Geneev slings it back, atop the near circle, fires, rebound, Doyak score on the power play! Dean Doyak cleans up the trash and ties it! One to one, 12.33 to go here in the second period. And again, it's Dean Doyak in the right spot. Gratton slings it back, atop the near circle, lets it fly, save, rebound, Doyak, he scores! Who else but Dean Doyak? A goal so nice, he did it twice. Poetry in motion. Doyak's two power play goals were enough for a 2-1 win. It's a tribute to the competitive balance of the Big Ten that season sweeps are rare. But Penn State had one over the Buckeyes in a game that had Liam Soulier become just the third Lion goaltender to reach 2,000 career saves. Now, it was on to the Big Ten Tournament. We're going to put the pucks on the hash marks, and we're going to do fight for the middle, 3v2. Good back check mentality. What we're going to do is two on two cross ice. So we're going to go net, net. A year ago, they missed the Frozen Four by an overtime goal. They've won the Big Ten tournament in the past. In fact, they have the second most wins in the history of the Big Ten tourney. The Nittany Lions know how to prepare for life beyond the regular season.
from an administration standpoint, uh, Dr. Kraft, Vinny, myself, we don't tell you this enough, and that is how much we appreciate what you do, and we don't thank you enough. What happens here in this room, and then where you take it out in the ice, but then where you take it on campus, wherever you might be, you're everything that's right with Penn State and Penn State Athletics. The Penn State hockey team has an insatiable appetite for success. The guys fueled up for the postseason when they knew the Penn State program had made a mark they wanted to live up to. Oh, you better believe. The sky truly was the limit as they took off for Minneapolis. Wanna give it a shot? Are you ready or not? Penn State and Minnesota meeting in the quarterfinals means one of the two will make the semifinals and that's no surprise. Those two teams have the most tournament semifinal appearances in conference history. I got fire in my blood. Strike the match and burn it up. It's what I'm fighting for. It's what I'm fighting for. Oh, I'm gonna take it all. Get your hands off. Two bags. I uh, just got to Minnesota for Big Ten quarterfinals. Uh, we're just hit the rink right now. Got uh, landed, unpacking. Uh, that's about it. Get back, get some reps. Oh, I'm gonna take it all. Hometown, uh, a lot of family coming. Should be a uh, should be a good couple games too. Hopefully, we get two right away and play again next weekend. Frog wings, frog wings. Here we go. Family in the stands to watch the family that is this team on the ice. You can't spend this much time together and not feel like brothers. Oh yeah! yeah so. Win the net fronts, compete, fight to get to the net offensively, don't let them get there. All the work isn't done with skates on. The Nittany Lions are always well prepared thanks to a top-notch coaching staff and the mental strength of each individual. All good stuff, ready to go, excited. It'll be a good series, I think, so we're all ready to go, fire it up. These are the moments you come to Penn State to experience. The journey to the tournament has been long. The journey to the opening face-off of the tournament may seem even longer. There's a difference between talking about it and doing it at the highest level. Okay, right? You know, that's another thing. We've been talking about this. You have been doing this. You know how hard you have to compete to do it right. Right? You know how hard you have to skate to come back to the slot, stop, and go to your spots and cover the slot. You know how hard you have to work at that. This isn't anything new. The other thing about that is you can do it over and over and over. We're going to win a series. You play your game over and over and over. You can win this series. These words come from a guy who knows. Penn State head coach Guy Godowski has won more Big Ten tournament games than any coach in conference history. Four on two. Lugris Farwing, Serrano atop the first circle. Redirect Lugris. He scores! Dylan Lugris! Lugris would have his tying goal waved off after an offsides challenge, but the true heart of the Lions was evident when they took less than half a minute to get the equalizer anyway. Weaves to the gopher line. He's one on three. Help is coming. Drag center shot. Score! It's Buko! And now it's tied! Danny Geneev. They centered and score. This one will count. And breaking to the net was the centerman Buko. And this time we do have a tie game on that centering feed. What a play by Penn State split a series with the Gophers back in Hockey Valley earlier in the season. And they had won three of four postseason games against them in the past. But this time, game one would go to Minnesota.
backs are against the wall here. So um, these are the games that you, you train all year for and you want to play in. So yeah, we're ready to go. Positive. That was a great first period by you guys. Would you agree last night? I think we played a, a good first period. I think we got a little bit frustrated and got away from what we do in the second. Um, and then and then forced to play catch up. Maybe then justified change a little bit, but we certainly would like it if today we could just play our game the whole way. And for most of the game, they would, despite falling behind in the first period. Kester right to left for the Gophers. Jackson Nelson motors into the Penn State zone. A shot, he scored! By the first intermission, the Nittany Lions found themselves trailing 2-0. That there was no panic. They've always been imaginative, creative, and aggressive under Coach Godowski. A team that does not sit back on its heels regardless of the score. The Lions love to shoot the puck. And from the first intermission on, they were a juggernaut, proving to themselves they could play and live up to the Penn State way. And the Nittany Lions are sustaining offensive end pressure. The boys followed the bouncing puck until it seemed the ice was tilted, dominating in shots, dominating in offensive zone time, and where it counts most, on the scoreboard. Penn State though holding in. There's Buko, rebound, they score! Jimmy down on the doorstep, knocks it home. Penn still has it, they cut on in front, big save, the rebound, they score! You can kind of see this happening, guys. Yeah. And Minnesota was just sitting back a little bit, and Jimmy Dowd makes it a two-to-one hockey game. Yeah, a little bit of yeah. 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 Penn State still trailed two-to-one, but with their season on the line, they were relentless. Fights his way over the line, watch out. Here comes Aiden Fink. DeMarsico shoots, scores! DeMarsico! They needed the kids to get going, and they are on the road. Penn State has tied it. Fink, it's a three on two. Left back to Marsico. He fires, he scores! Matt DeMarsico ties it! Penn State snaps it up. Here they come with Fink right in. He shoots, he scores! Tie hockey oh. game. Oh. The Gophers were being blasted out of their own building. Over the final two periods, Penn State played their best hockey of the season. Talk about a dog on bone mentality there for Penn State. They love to play this game and were not ready for the season to end. Wave after wave of blue and white crashed the net. Shots are 27 to six over the last two periods. Dominating the game. The third period is all Penn State, but they do not have anything to show for it yet. Now it's down from the near point, releasing one off the backboard. It bounds out front. The puck is in front of the net. It's a net mouth scramble. Lucas a shot, and it would not go. It was on the goal line. It was not all the way across. Jania, he's crafty. He's in. He shoots. Close to save. They score the rebound. They take a 3-2 lead here with 5.48 to go. We're going to have a review here. Well, the linesman was right there. I mean, from here, it looks like he's got it on side. It's really hard to see. For the second straight game, Penn State had a goal disallowed after an offsides challenge. They continued to work diligently for the go-ahead score, but the hockey gods would not reward them. Instead, with one of only seven shots the Gophers managed over the final two periods, they took the lead with just 68 seconds left. Shots are 18-4 in the period, Penn State. Shots are 33-7 in the last two periods. They had a goal waved off. Penn State continued the pressure until the final second. One, you played a hell of a game. Two, uh, I gotta tell you, um, you go through a lot in a season and you, and you learn a lot. You use those lessons to have great successes in the future. And uh, I will say this, uh, for all the seniors that are here, um, you are very, very much going to be a part of the great success that this program has in the future. Tonight, the second half of this game was one of very few times uh, this year that I felt that we're Penn State hockey. 
That's the truth. It's really hard to play with that tempo and to oh, work every time, and you just come in waves and waves and beat them. You look at the clock at the end of the game, and the shots are 48 24, great A's were a lot to a little. The lessons that we learn, I'm telling you, this experience is going to pay off. I promise you it will. The end of the season was not about what could have been, it's about what will be. And that is the most exciting hockey in college, in front of the greatest and most loyal fans, winning the right way, winning the Penn State way.